If your computer is running slow, be sure to check out my website, remotetechassistance.com. Be sure to check out my free seven simple secrets to make your computer run faster. In addition, if your monitor has dead pixels, be sure to check out my free pixel tester as well. You must have Microsoft PowerPoint installed in order to run it. How's it going, everybody? It's been a long time since I've done an unboxing or an installation video, so I've got one for you. Today, I'm going to be unboxing the Republic of Gamers Claymore 2 keyboard by Asus. This by far is probably the best thing I'm going to unbox. It uses red switches, therefore it's linear and swift. It's Asus Aura compatible, and it even has a nice little pad for your wrists. So without further ado, let's get to unboxing. First thing we will want to do is take off the tape from either side. And we can slide it out. Look at that. It even has the Republic of Gamers logo on it. It's so beautiful. There's even padding in here too. Here is the keyboard layout for reference, which I think is clever. And here's the keyboard itself. Now, if you recall on the box, it comes with the additional pad that is detachable from the keyboard. And here's the little thing that sticks out if you want to angle your keyboard. Now, I like having this additional keypad on the keyboard, so in order to put it on, we just got to take this little panel off first, like that, and then do the same thing for this one, little tab, you can just pull it off gently though, like that. And then we just attach it. Actually, you do this, slide it in, and then it attaches. Now we will want to take out the cables. Here's the Republic of Gamers stickers it comes with. And the instruction manual. Here's the cable. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a uh, USB-C powered. And of course, the nice padding for your hands to rest on. And oh, it looks like it comes with a USB-C to USB 3.0 adapter and a USB-C to USB 2.0 adapter, which is nice. Okay, so now it's time to set it up. First off, we're going to be taking the 
cord out of the out of the bag. Just open it like this, kind of like a Ziploc baggie. Just gotta shake it a little to get it out. Look at that, very nice and very long. Take the Velcro, Velcro strap off of it. Like so. And it's USB-C on either end, which is why I'm going to be using the USB 3.0 to USB-C adapter. because my computer does not have any USB 2.0 adapters. So there's that. Plug it into here. Plug this in to here. Then, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be plugging it into the front panel and when you do plug it in, you'll see that it lights up. I, I had to close the blinds to shut out some lights so you guys can see it clearly. But this thing is awesome. Look at that. Real sleek looking. There's a charging indicator right here. This is a wireless keyboard, I failed to mention. So there's your battery indicator. Here's your volume control. There's even some gamers buttons, which is really cool. It's, it's a really nice thing to have. But we're not done yet. We need to install the tools to control the lights on them. Unfortunately, even if you already have an Asus motherboard that comes equipped with the Armory Crate when you install the operating system brand new, it does not sync up with it properly. It might, it might not, but your best chance is to manually download and install Armory Crate from the Asus website under the keyboard. So we we'll want to click that and then click open and you have three options you can install Armory Crate or Creator or you can install both for this purpose we're going to be installing Armory Crate only Okay, so now that the installation is done, we can launch Armory Crate. And then you'll notice right here at the top, it has detected the keyboard, which I'm going to click on. I don't need to go to User Center for now, but this is what it looks like when you deal with the keyboard and or the mouse. So here are your keys. You can give them custom functions. These 01, 02, 03, and 04 are the keys that are on the bottom of the volume scroller. You have your RGB indicator. You can sync with keyboard lighting or put it in battery mode, which is uh, which tells you the status of the battery. You can go to lighting. First off, I'm going to try static. You'll see it changes it to white. I can adjust the brightness on it, so that's 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100. I'm going to change this to red, orange, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta. Got the breathing effect, 
color cycle, rainbow, which are different things, reactive, if you tap on a key, it'll light up. It'll light up random colors, as you see, that I have selected, which is rather cool. Ripple, this is somewhat similar to reactive, only if you type in a key, it ripples throughout the whole keyboard, which is nice. Starry Night, very, very mystical. Quicksand, Current, Raindrop, which actually looks like raindrops, which is real clever. And then Aura Sync. This is important to know because if you have an Asus motherboard with Aura Sync, it will sync up with it as well. It says it right here device synchronized with Aura Sync. Power. This will tell you. Uh, when what the battery status is lighting alert when the battery percentage reaches 25% I'm gonna leave that on um, this is also a nifty little feature to have switch to sleep mode after being idle for a certain amount of time uh, I'm gonna switch this over to five minutes uh, now firmware update checks to see if there's any any firmware updates for the sake of this video I'm not going to be doing any firmware updates until afterwards but that about does it for this video so as you saw at the opening of my video I did a little intro called Mr. Tech Dude similar to what I did to my Ubuntu videos this still determines if I should create a separate YouTube profile called Mr. Tech Dude or if I should just keep my profile intact. I have a Google form in the description below, which is a poll to determine if you think I should create that separate channel or not. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, like this video, and watch all of my other recommended videos as well.